In this video, you will learn how to plot your data from the loop experiment. So we just ran a loop experiment here before in our Jupyter notebook. And now we want to plot the actual data that is coming from that. Well, in order to do so, we have to change our code a little bit. Um, everything that we did until the, until the loop itself will remain exactly the same. But now we have to make some adjustments. Uh, some adjustments. First of all, we have to consider that we are now working here in a Jupyter lab or in a Jupyter notebook in this case. Um, and that allows us to actually inline plot. So we can plot inside that uh, Jupyter notebook. In order to do so, however, we have to and without it, so in order not to to have to plot into an uh, extra window, we have to tell uh, this by using the matplot uh, lib inline function. Um, after doing so, as always, we have to import all the important classes that we will use during this tutorial. Um, and in this case, we have to use the qtplot class. In order to import that, we have to say from qcodes dot plots dot pi qt graph import qt plot. Okay, so this is already everything that we needed to import. Now let's just copy our loop experiment from above and then we have to uh, actually start writing our routines for plotting. This is very simple. We just have to uh, get the data in the first step. So we have to make a data set. In order to do so, we tell that we want to get the data from our loop, uh, get data set. And then we have to give our data set a name. So in this case, I will just call it sweep. Next, we have to define our plot. So I just open up the plot and then I use the very same class that I just imported from above. In the next step, we have to decide what data we actually want to plot. So uh, as you can see, there's different kinds of data that we that we are measuring here. First of all, we measure the applied voltage as a function of the applied voltage. Then we measure the current as a function of the voltage applied. And finally, we measure the time. In our scenario, it now makes sense to measure actually the uh, to plot the current versus the voltage because we are interested in the IV characteristics. So in order to do so, we tell our plot to add the data um, and then we have to tell it which data do we want to add. And in our case, we want to add the current. However, we don't use the one that we define here in Python, but we rather use the name of our current, which is i. So we just tell it, uh, tell it data add i. Finally, we of course have to tell our, our loop that it has to run because otherwise we won't acquire any data. And if we do this now, then it will start the run and it will also open up a plot window. But the plot window is opened up here in this part of the code and there it actually doesn't have any data. So it will be empty. In order to update it after the measurement and to get all the data into our plot, we have to tell it that it has to update all the data. This is being done by just telling it uh, plot.update. And that's basically it. If we run this now, we see that a, that a new window is being opened up and then uh, the data will be updated. But of course, since we are inside this Jupyter notebook here now, we don't see any plot, but we can just plot it in line by just saying plot and then you will see that this plot is being plotted. And this is our plot. So there are some nice things about this one. For example, we also uh, we already have the labels in X and Y axis and they're also already mapped with the according units. Another nice thing about this particular plot here is that it automatically uses the scientific units. And in this case, for example, it makes amps, it makes the current in amps into milliamps because we are measuring small currents only. So it not only adjusts the axis according to the data, but it also adjusts the labels. So these are, this is a very nice function. 
and I hope it is also helpful in your experiments. In the next video we will then talk about how to uh, slightly change our code in order to be able to make a live plot which is being updated during our measurements.